were fishermen mm -hmm. once. No, what about you? Really inherited your job, or was something that your father was a? You come from a fishing family. Mm -hmm. Fishing family. Yeah. yeah. Grandfather, great grandfather, seven, six brother, all fishermen. Eh? So it was traditionally, yeah, uh, actually just followed your father's footsteps. Eh? Yeah. And yeah. Worked up through the ranks, started cooking. You started, when you left school here, you started as cook mm -hmm. aboard a boat. Then you had worked your way up through the ranks. Only if you could mend and take a watch with other men mm -hmm. did you go up through the ranks. So it was in your own interest to work hard, study hard, and then go for your ticket, your skipper's ticket, which we all did at 19 to take your mate's ticket and 21 to take our skippers. Mm. Uh, basically that's the ins and outs of it. Uh, we enjoyed the work. I, I, mean, I worked two or three various jobs. I went to the heaven in the winter time and creel fishing all summer. Some of the other lads did the heaven in the winter time but they went prawn fishing in the summer. Mm. So whatever your skipper was going to, you just followed, su uh, followed suit. Yeah. And, uh, 90% of the young people in the village, that's just what we did, yeah. yeah, it was just village life, money was good, Yeah. fast cars, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what are your best hmm. memories of those times? Uh, we, we all actually used to go up and down to the pier, all the time, so we were never off boats. You would have brought the boats all the time. Uh, every weekend, every day, summer thing. Just, just what you did there. Eh? Leaving school, the best memories of school. Yeah, I, I suppose uh, it was hard. When you're 15, it's, it's very hard. But at the same time, it was good because you were working with your family, you were working with your friends. Eh? Mm. Uh, you were working with a group of men that was your family for f six days, maybe sometimes seven days. Yeah. So, yeah, it was enjoyable. But we wouldn't do it now. <laughs> so, the, you, you can say that it was a job that you choose, or because you that you passionate you were, with, with... I think you were expected to follow mm. suit. Mm. Me, in one hand, I was going to go to the armed services, but the ring that was too small. So he went to sea. Yeah. That's what you did. Yeah. You just you just followed your father. That's that's just what you did. Yes. Yeah. And it was good. There were some times where you would say you wouldn't go back, mm. but you always did. Every Monday you went back. Monday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's been good for this village, yeah. I, I, you know, that without the fishing, Mali wouldn't be here. Mm. Uh, without the fishing, the railway wouldn't have been here. Yeah. So really, you know, Robert's father was a, a, a garden a railway there, and their jobs relied on the fishing as well as we did in the railway line. Because sometimes we used to call them the headers, you'd have two steam trains going out at the one time, mm. uh, full of herring for fish meal, yeah. a two pound a can. A lot of work. Yeah. <laughs> that was the downside of it. Uh, if there was too much, then you were working for really pennies. Eh? Yeah. That was the downside of it. But yeah, everybody had to make a living. What do you remember in particular that makes you smile? The <laughs> <laughs> uh, friendship. And the hard work. Yeah. It was good. I mean, you just got you got on with everybody. Yeah, you, you had to. It was your work. Yeah. Uh, older guys looked after the younger guys. The hard work. Well, everybody shared the work. It, it, it was enjoyable. Mm. Uh, I don't know if you can say that about hard work, but it was enjoyable. Uh, I cursed it many a time, but looking back in the years, yeah, it, it was good. It really was good. And what about instead about the role of women in fishing that you remember? Uh, 
Dan was dan was hard work. I mean, they must have had a hard time with it. That kind of side of it was gone when we left school. Eh? Mm. The any gutting you seen was in the cupboard houses. Mm -hmm. Where the gutting yeah, yeah. but um, yeah. As for women going to see, well, times change. But once there were much more, many more fishing families than today. Here. Oh yeah, there's quite a lot of families relying on fishing alone today. Um, Compact is 1965, you would have local boats, I think if I remember right, off the top of my head, I think it was 12. Mm -hmm. In the summertime, there would be, sorry, there would be 14. In the summertime, there was eight time full lobstermen here. I was fishing lobsters full time from April to October. Mm -hmm. And then they switched back to the heaven. The other five or six boats belonged to the Manson family, which were at the Heron the 12 months of the year. Mm. Used to stop at the, the end of the winter Heron in February, paint and varnish their boats up mm. to uh, April, and then start the Heron again in May, right through the summer. So they were continuous. Eh? But do you think that today Mali can be considered a fishing community yet? Yeah. Yeah? Aye. I think taking away the fish fish farm. Yeah. If you take that away, uh, yes, I think we would still be quite a viable fishing port. We still are, actually. But it could be better. But there's so many jobs out there. You won't get young people to go to the fishing now. It's better to work for two weeks on and mm. two weeks off and go home with a pay at the end of the month as it is to work out there every day. Five days a week, sometimes six days a week and getting eight days off a month. So you won't get young people to do it. And that's what's wrong with the industry now. There's only one local man whose son's following them into fishing, the whole of that fleet down there. And that would be the downfall, because there's no young people yeah. going to go back there. Yeah. And I think, I hope I'm wrong, mm. but I think in a few years' time you'll see a difference in it. Mm. You know, you've got young skippers there and everybody gets older and they'll step aside. And I think that's when we'll see the changes here. Yeah, definitely. I think that by the future that there will be a radical, a deep change. I think so. Hmm. I, I think so. I, I, I can't see guys giving up their good jobs to come back and take over their father's words. I can't see that. I did. See, a lot of them are not interested. In fact, they're all not interested. They're all in the merchant service, oil industry. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they must have had a hard time. And what is, in your opinion, the strength of this community? It still has a strong community, but not as strong as what it was. Yeah? Mm. Uh, I think it's still there. I see it now and again. Eh? In, in some, in other cases, I don't. But yeah, I see it now and again. The, the 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 strength is still there, but it's needing leadership. Eh? Mm. It's it's needing something there to just grab it and, and pull it along. And I don't know what it is. Yeah, it's it's there, but yeah, it's still there. It is. I don't want to disturb you anymore. It was really a big pleasure to talk with you. But at all, you're welcome. Should have grabbed me before now. <laughs> <laughs> I can stop.